What is going on, you two? Mom Beach here, and today I'm bringing you guys back to Cosmic PvP. And instead of a fashion video, this time we're going to be doing some more from our How to Even Cosmic PvP series. And so today we're not really doing something specific to Cosmic. This is basically something much in general. Um, you can do this on any server as long as they allow for um, water to flow correctly. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a little box here. We're going to say this is your base. You want to protect your base. This swag base. Look at this thing. Fully grinder, maxed out, GG customized. You want to protect this junk. So what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is to create some super easy and really, really good walls. These are generated walls, so if you guys do have some problems with generated walls, like um, I know some people say frame drops are, um, come from generated walls, and it's true, true, do, it's true that frame drops do come from generated walls, but the only way to fix that is either to make these walls by hand, which you can, this is, I'll show you in just a second, you'll see why it's so freaking simple, and why it's so freaking amazing, um, these walls you can do infinitely, as long as you can uh, place the block, so, yeah, it's, these are like amazing, I don't know why you wouldn't want to do this, you can decrease the frame drops that you get from these, actually, I'll show you a way to do that here in just a minute, but first, Let's go ahead and do this. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some slabs, some cobble, stone, and lots of buckets of lava. Um, there we go, it's stacking now. Yeah, you're going to need lots of buckets of lava. Um, it depends on how big your wall is, depending on how many buckets you'll need. But you can figure it out. You can make multiple trips if you need. Whatever you got to do to get this done. So here's what we're going to do. So we're going to lay it out, and then we're going to make the wall, and then we're going to generate it, and you guys are going to be like, wow. So here's what you gotta do first. So you have your base here. You gotta figure out how much like space you want in between the thing. Like you could do this out a couple blocks, you could do this like out like three blocks. And then you gotta like count three from there. It's like three blocks there. So you gotta do this stuff. Boom boom boom. And then you just kind of keep doing that. We'll do three on the side as well, sure. Um uh, come built there and do three. There. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now this works better over water, just because then it uh it auto creates um it'll just it just makes it easier in general. So then once you've got like this is like your inner wall. So this is like here is where like you're gonna have water in here or something against your base, and then like here's your first your last line of defense technically um, for your thing. For your base, uh, and you're gonna have your next layer here, and you're gonna go three out. And you're gonna take three, three blocks out. We're gonna slash workbench it up. Get some more here. There we go. That should be enough. Uh, we gotta go two, three there. You can have holes underneath this thing. You can make this where. Place and you just kind of lean it over the water. That's kind of why I chose the spots to show that it also works on the water too. It works. All bases I believe are better built over water, but that's just personal opinion. It makes an anti belly box automatically. Whatever. People like how they like their bases though, so underground base, I just see it as easier to raid. It's closer to bedrock, easier to explode because you can drill into it most of the time. They know what they're doing. Alright. Looks like we got just enough. Alrighty, so here's our outline. So this is going to be outside of the wall. This is going to be on the back side of the wall. And then um, we will have a third layer of slabs going through the middle here. But that isn't ready yet. We won't do that. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to go up, 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 up. However high you want to go, we're just going to do this height for now. And then you're going to place one block on top, and then place one out like that, and then 
do one like that. And you can remove these two blocks, and now you're going to want to drag this all the way over the edge. You want to make another pillar here. Do like so. Use one. Get out some more cobblestone here. There we go. You're just going to want to do this all the way around the whole thing. I, I build up these corners because they um, are fussy sometimes and they don't like to um, work right when trying to do this. So Now I know this is like a, a wool. This is a known tactic for building walls. I'm not trying to introduce something new here. I'm just trying to show you guys an easy way to do it because the traditional way of doing it, which I will show you afterwards, is kind of a mess and it's not um, as protected as this one is. So here is this one. So all you have to do now is you have to take your buckets of cobble, you have to place them along like this, and as you guys can see, they'll cascade down. Um, boom, boom. I don't have lava. I don't have power protection on. I'm stupid. I'll just go without it though. Um, yeah. Oh shoot, that's not that's not good. There we go. There we go, fly again. Yeah, you're just gonna do this all the way around. Uh, you obviously, unlike me, want to wear something that has. Um, if you're on a, if you're on cosmic, you want to wear something with over shield. If you're not, you want to have like a fire resistance pot or something like that that you can drink up and become anti-fiery. There we go. All right. Pause the video real quick, collect some lava and put on some armor this time. Didn't even realize, wasn't even wearing armor the whole time. But that's alright, I have fire resistance now. So now we have our wall, it's beautifully generated as you guys can see. It is kept within the borders of our slab, so that means that we have automatically slab protected it and we don't have to do anything with that. And as you guys can see, the corners we built up ourselves, and now each wall is individually built. And we also have a wall on the inside, which also has the corners made, but that is just naturally how it works. So you're not going to need a whole lot of water buckets. I think. Well, probably I'll do the full eight, which makes things easier. So here's how I like to do this: I like to place one on each corner to get things to roll. And then the little thing can go right there in the middle, place one, and it should stand. Yeah, as you see, do have my water graphics turn off, but boom! Perfect wall done. Now all you have to do is just clean up the water, and there's a slight amount of cleanup you have to do. It's very it's like a whole lot less than you have to do if you naturally had these walls done. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you're gonna wanna like break in here somewhere. Now obviously with your fire resistance so on, it's just gonna be flying through the lava. Or you can like swim up the tower you prefer if you can't fly, that's cool. Alright. And you're just gonna collect it all here. Jump out my buckets real quick so I can just easily scoop it all up and place it there. Done. All of the lava is removed. Wait, give that a couple, uh, like 30 seconds or something to get rid of itself. And I'll place that back. And now we can actually empty out all our buckets there. No longer need it unless you're going to make more walls like this. And obviously you still won't need them. I'm just gonna dump them all right in here so they do not need them. And there we go, all of our buckets are now empty and you just do that. Make sure and get rid of it like that. Now we will go ahead and re up on the water. We'll just generate it here. Get it flowing. 
game. You don't remember which things you can move a block, whatever. Yeah, you're gonna have to do each of these blocks once you remove it individually. Get it going again. I just remove it so it makes it easier to generate the next wall if you do it like layered on top of each other. So if you do like one wall here and then you want them to have the exact same slab, you do three off from this and then slab there. There we go, yeah. So you guys kind of get the idea. Building the walls here, and then now we will go on the inside. It should be completely emptied out. Doesn't take nearly as long as Skyline do. And so all you have to do is fill in this little gap here. This doesn't generate. It doesn't want to. Now how it rolls. Now we got that going. I just like to place those there. This final one. And now your walls are complete. They're done. Basically now you can now there's multiple things you can choose to do next. You can take uh, water source blocks and put them in here, like fuck the water, put them in there. Um you can remove out this and do a trench okay, Which is what I'm planning to do with my base. Um there's one thing that you want to do though is remove this corner wall so that it's uh if you see, like when they bust into this, like here I'll show you. So say we still have that block there, and have a bucket of water. Oops. There we go. I just realized the block is down. Block goes here. This goes there. Then we'll do it like that, so that it kind of flows over. And then how you usually do it is like, remove this block here. Let the water flows in between. A nice good coverage here. So we'll do these two blocks here that should be all that we need. And we'll do a third one. Just for a better visual representation. Boom. And we got those two. And now we'll move them. And now, as you can see, this is still easily corner busted. If you want to put some water here and then build out a block and then put the water there too. Unless you're doing multiple walls, then you can just pour water off the next one onto that one and roll automatically prod it for you. That's the most efficient way to do it for me. So here's your problem though. This block creates an air pocket. Easy shot. They just bust right through this. So all you have to do really is sand stack this one and then they just corner bust. So easy. You literally let it take zero seconds to do that. And it also takes zero seconds to remove it and make sure that you do not get wrecked that way. So that is it for you guys. I know this was a pretty long tutorial, but I think it will be helpful for most people. This is how you make some pretty cool walls really fast. You guys saw how fast I did that. Work. Like as soon as I got the layout done, generate those things pretty quick. It usually doesn't take me that long to get the layout done. You just whenever you're, if you ever explain something to someone, it always takes longer to do it than you normally do it by yourself. So you don't have to explain it. You don't have to go step by step on process. So there it is for you. You can do as many of these as you want. I have currently stacked up uh, a total of five of these generations, so like ten walls, and they're from uh, like Y64 to um, Skyline, which is um, Y254. Yeah, 250, they're 255 because you can place water above Skyline and have my water above Skyline. And uh, yeah, these are pretty decent. I mean, this is the fastest way that I found to make some really nice walls. I mean, these things, they look good. They're uniform. They have water flowing down. You have the, the water in the middle. You have all of your slabs. Um, the middle, you should trench definitely. It's a big recommendation right there that I make um, to trench that middle. If not, then they really don't have much time to uh, sand stack. Whatever. The best defense for these is to um, 
to uh, trench all the way to bedrock, especially in the middle one. The back one, I can stay where it is because it's honestly not much of a defense. It's just there to kind of look nice, hold in, hold the lava in so it doesn't flow inwards. But it's up to you. You can edit this design. Do whatever you want to it. It's just a little template here. Yeah, these usually go all the way around. The water goes all the way around, and then you're done. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial video on how to make some super easy walls with little to no cleanup. Um, in the next video, what I'll do is I'll show you guys um, why without why the normal way people set it up without the slabs and um, not breaking this block. I'll show you why, like, I'll show you the frame drop that it caused, as well as the um, mess it makes at the bottom. It doesn't look too good, to be honest. Because right now, I'm at, like, what, what am I at? I think it's a 66, something like that frame. And with that's with the lava gone. It should be more than that, actually. But my the recording software decides sometimes to show unaccurate ones. Whatever. I'll show you guys um, in the next video. It'll be a regular action video. We just got a little clip on there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the video, if you enjoyed my series more from the Cosmic PvP faction series or some more like videos like this from the cause how to even Cosmic PvP or factions in general. And I will talk to you guys next time. Until then, peace.